Welcome back to Gris. Before I head into the last level of the game, I'm just going to head across here to the left and find the second memento for the prologue area. And if you just dive into the water here and swim across to the left. So you, you can only get this memento after you've been to the, uh, the third level. So now you can see those two mementos are coloured in, so we've picked up the two that are available for the prologue, and now I'm going to head across to the last level. We've added yellow to the world, and one unique feature about the yellow uh, lights is that they reveal hidden objects and hidden structures. I'm pretty sure this pillar here wasn't there before, but it seems to be visible now. So the level starts off fairly easy and then gets more and more complicated. Uh, you can see by this little symbol here that it is an upside down world. And there's seven mementos to collect. These light bugs here will reveal certain structures. Luckily this light bug will follow us all the way up to this new area. And you can head up here either to the left or the right. And I'm just going to continue making my way up. So we have a new little bug here, the uh, little yellow birds or butterflies. Not only do they shoot you up into the air, but they also reveal l a large portion of the environment. But it slowly fades away. Luckily there's some more of these yellow birds here. And you may just be able to notice that there's some little red birds trapped over there to the right in that building. So I'm going to wait for the building to fade and then use them to, to fly up. And just down here to the left is the first memento for the level. Just continuing across to the left. Uh, you can break the floor here. Once you reach this circular uh, pool of water, uh, just head across to the left first of all. And this is where you can find the, uh, the second memento. Now I'm going to do the same thing but on the right side. I do like this area, actually. It looks a little bit complicated, but there really is only one path to take. And once again, we have the light bug over here. It's going to reveal some stairs heading up and across to the other side. Now, I can't reach these little red birds yet. I'll need to find some other way to get up there. So when you slam down, the, the light bugs disappear. 
So I'll need to go and grab this one. And uh, it should follow me up to the top. And I'm going to slam down to make it disappear. This building will disappear and now I can use the birds to get up higher. So there's a little temple here, this is where we're going to gain a new ability, but once again I need a couple of stars to activate it. There's one to the left and one to the right. I'll head to the left first because this is where we can find uh, Memento as well. Okay, so just breaking the floor here. And using the red birds to fly up. And continuing up and across to the right. Just making my way higher and higher here. Eventually we'll come to the upside down section of this world. Oops, oh, I missed that. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to drop down to the right. Okay, so using the birds to drop down, and it looks like there's nothing here to the left, but there are some lights indicating that there is actually a platform down here. So just heading across to the left and uh, shooting up for the, um, uh, that's the third memento for this level. Once again, just playing around this upside down area. That light has actually revealed a staircase here, so I'll just uh, climb up and use these birds into the water, then across, and I'm just going to grab these little um, little red creatures over here. Uh, I want to shoot down to the top of that tree um, just to get the light activated, and now I can quickly head across before it disappears. Uh, breaking the ledge and that's the first the first star so it seems a little bit complicated but mostly there there was only one path to take so now just head across to the right side and find the second star uh, there's nothing in this water actually I've, I've explored it down there I didn't, uh, didn't find anything down there except for a few fish. Okay, so just using the little red birds here to fly up to the top of this, uh, this structure and uh, continuing up here and to the right. Luckily there's all these little birds around the place, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get very far at all. And uh, here we are high enough to get to the upside down area. And uh, just dropping down. And uh, I'm going across here to the... Nope, to the left.
Okay, so as, as you can see, I'm just making my way around here. It's not all that difficult. Um, okay, so I want to get up to the... There we go. And then across to here. And then let's bring these birds through the waterfall. Shooting across and then up this way. Oops. And then down through the tunnel here and breaking this 40 second star. I did get a little bit confused there, <laughs> but I managed to find my way through. So let's head back to this temple area to get the new ability. So finally Gris is able to sing. And uh, when she does sing, the environment around her comes alive. So let's have a little look. And uh, we'll explore this a little bit more in the next episode.